The presence of highly pathogenic avian influenza has been identified in Wyoming by the Wyoming State Veterinary Laboratory. The disease has been found in many areas of the state, in Great Horned Owls in Park and Teton counties, Canadian geese in Bighorn, Fremont and Albany counties, and wild turkeys in Sheridan County. Wyoming Game and Fish wildlife veterinarian Dr. Samantha Allen says avian flu's virulence is classified in a few ways. Low to high is one of them. Highly pathogenic avian influenza, or HPAI, has a high virulence, a sign of its ability to cause mortality in domestic poultry. As far as domestic birds go, like chickens and turkeys, it's very effective at making them very sick very fast and killing a large number. Typically for wild birds, we tend to say, oh, you're not going to see a lot of clinical signs. They tend to be more the reservoir, so that means they tend to carry it to move it around. This year, unfortunately for this outbreak, we're actually seeing a large number of wild birds dying from a varying kind of level. Wild bird species in North America infected include eagles, geese, vultures, owls, and other species. The Game and Fish continues monitoring for the virus's presence in wild birds and asks the public, particularly hunters and others who spend a lot of time outdoors, to report groups of dead birds, typically clusters of three or more dead wild birds like waterfowl, grouse, turkeys, and raptors. Allen says this outbreak appears to be much more contagious than an avian flu outbreak back in 2015. Bald eagles have died from this, great horned owls have died from this, black vultures, uh, brown pelicans have died from this too, which is not unheard of, but not typical in the numbers that we're seeing. So from the outbreak in 2015 to the outbreak this year, um, that would be one of the largest kind of discrepancies that we've seen is we're not only seeing a lot of domestic birds dying, but we're seeing a lot of wild birds dying as well. Wild birds can carry HPAI and not appear sick. Some birds may show neurological impairment or may be found dead with no apparent cause. Domestic birds typically become lethargic, show a swelling of wattles and combs, along with a sneezing and discharge. Mortality usually comes on quickly. HPAI is considered a zoonotic disease which can infect humans, so the public should not touch or handle sick or dead birds. Proper PPE use is recommended and keep pets away from sick or dead birds. To report clusters of dead birds, call your local Game and Fish regional office. The Game and Fish website has a link under Veterinary Services that includes a fact sheet and up-to-date information of HPAI in Wyoming. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.